All right, so I'm gonna give you a minute and I'm just gonna talk through what's going on and I'm gonna buy you some time as you draw these diagrams, the ones that don't work, and maybe just like put a little subhead and say these don't work uh, and that's why we're interested in them, okay? Now, the first thing I'm gonna note is, let's have a look at the ones that do work as you're drawing. Um, for instance, who, who did the red and the blue one on this side? Yeah, you did the red one, Kirim, and Okay, so I want us to look at these two. Now, they look like different uh, networks to me, but in many regards, they're basically the same network. Do you see why? Have a think about this, right? Um, we've all named them A, B, C, D, E, etc., right? So they both have five vertices. How many edges do they have? They, they both have five, right? And importantly, like if I just took this C, right, and just like stretched it out a little bit so it was on the outside, you're basically just getting a nice, neat, you know, sort of uh, regular old, not regular, but a normal pentagon, right? Uh, and so even though their appearance is different, as networks, these guys are identical, which is why, unsurprisingly, they both do work. Okay, you're just going to start anywhere and just go all the way around, okay? Now this, um, <laughs> this is the points, right? This guy, it, oh, it doesn't work. Okay, so this guy should be over here. Now that's interesting, we'll work out why it is in a second. The last one we've got down here is um, this monstrosity that seems put here, right? Now it looks insanely complicated. I mean, it has more vertices than I asked for, okay? But in case you didn't hear, because I was just explaining over there, even though it looks awful, there's a very logical way in which this is, get this, identical to these two. Watch, right? Let's just start from A. A is a nice place to start, okay? If I start from A, and I'm just going to go in alphabetical order, and I'm going to go from A to B, B to C, etc., and I'm just going to go along the inside, so like this part here. See that part there? Sorry, that edge, I should say. Inside edge, inside, inside. I'm ruining my green mark, but that's fine. Inside, 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 okay? So I have covered uh, one out of every three of the edges, right? But importantly, I'm back to where I started, so now I can go back to A, and instead of doing all the inside ones, I could do all the outside ones, if I wanted, and then I could do all the middle ones, so it's fine, I can get all the way through that, okay? But then we come to these, and we run into some troubles, right? So for example, okay Ryan, you did this one, didn't you? Okay, so why do you think this causes a problem? Or how would you describe why, it's, why it doesn't work? Because... It's always having to go in threes, but still sharing edges. What do you mean by go in threes? I'm interested by that phrase you just used. Well, there's like four mini circuits you could do. Yeah. You're always going to have to use one of the other edges to finish. Ah, okay, that's interesting. So, um, tell me if I'm getting, if I'm understanding you right, right? Uh, if we just have a look at A, B, and E, right? That's like a miniature little circuit that you have to go around. But to do A, B, and E, you're like, uh oh, I'm using this A, E edge that I'm going to need for this one down here, right? For the lower bottom left hand corner. And you're like, you keep on doing this all the way around. You're like, oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Um, this one here is interesting. This is, um, this is your one, right? Yeah. Um, now yours, you created one that worked and then what did you add on to make it not work? I added D to E. Okay. You added this joint here. So if you can picture this without the D to E edge, you can see why it works, right? You can just start from here and just go all the way around. We had this conversation, but can you help me so that everyone else knows? Why does the D to E edge cause a problem? Because if you started it, you would have to cross the edges back again to get to the like F and G vertices. Yep. So if we started from E, right, um, and then sort of you'd have to make a, a choice at D to go left or right. And once you've gone left or right, you can never come back, right? Um, and of course, as we discussed, even if you don't start at E, um, if you start over here at A, right, once you get to E, you go in, but then you can't, you can't come back out again, right? Because you've used the only edge that was available. And that's actually really important. I'm going to come back to that point in a second. Last thing I want to point out is um, Ryan's one. And this is yours, right, Kieran? Yep. Do you see that just like these first two, the red and blue, do you see that this orange and red, they're the same network, yeah? Um, it's, it's kind of like squashed in a little bit and like at an angle, but it's, it's got all the same... Uh, vertices, it's got all the same edges, it just is a different shape slightly. Okay, does that make sense? Alright, now hopefully that's bought enough time for you to draw these, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, I'm going to introduce, sorry, another word, but I promise it's a useful word, and um, it's a really easy thing to spot on here that I'm going to ask you to do. The word is, I'm going to even write it down, the word is degree. Now, I know that we've used the word degree in the context of angles, how many degrees is this, right? But in networks, degree means something really different. 
Degree means, oh, will you? Yeah. Are you okay, good. All right, all right, excellent. Okay, so in that case, what I'd like you to do is, can you tell me if degree is, can you, what's your definition? What's like your one sentence explanation? Yeah, as in? The amount of edges that come from or go to a vertex, right? I know there's a lot of them on here, but can't, we'll, sorry, sorry, Kieran, we'll skip your one because it's exactly the same, right? For these three here, I want you to draw for every vertex that you can see, can you label its degree? So for example, I'll start us off. This one up here, Ryan's, there's a three here. There's a three here. There's, what is the E? What's the degree of E? That's four, but then the rest of them are all three, okay? Can you do the other two that are here, which are quite different, but do all of the degrees there. And then what I want you to do is compare that to the degrees of the other ones you've got that work. Okay, I'm gonna give you a minute to do that because it takes some time to go through. Okay, how'd you go? Did you, did you label all the degrees of everything? So what you've hopefully noticed is, and I even filled in some of the ones over here, even Asim's one, because it wasn't that hard. Actually, even it looks terrible, right? I wonder if you can tell what's the difference, what stands out? Is there anything unusual that's shared in common between all of these guys, which you notice is quite different to over here. Anyone want to make a suggestion? What's a thing that you see from on this side that's not on that side? Yeah, go ahead. Very good. So all of these ones, different amounts, different degrees for every vertex. Okay, is there anything else that you notice? Yeah, go ahead, Ryan. The there are odd values in the degrees. Now, this is actually really important. When you've got like a theory, you're like, I have an, a hypothesis for why this works, right? You should always test it out. On the um, does not work side of where you've drawn things, I'd like you to draw one more network with me, one that's simpler, I think. Yeah, simpler than all of these ones, but it's sort of going to invalidate one of our theories, and it's important to invalidate your own theories so you know which ones work and which ones don't, right? So just put on four vertices for me. Let's call it A, B, C, D. <laughs> and then here's what I'm going to add on. I'm going to go draw all the edges around the outside and then draw two across like that. Did anyone have one like this? Whoops, Daisy. It's very similar to Ryan's and Kieran's, but there's just no middle thing. So there's no like middle vertex, okay? Now just go ahead and try it in your mind. Can you do this? Can you see why it doesn't work, right? For example, you go all around the edges, right? Then you can do one of the diagonals, but you can't do the other one. Right? So you're like, oh, great. What are the degrees of A, B, C, and D? They're all three, aren't they? Uh, let me get a different color here, right? Three, 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 three. So here all the numbers are the same, but it's so like this, but it still does not work. Okay? So what I'm going to show you is this. And I'm just going to turn this back on for a second because I think it will make it clear for you. And don't worry about drawing or writing this down. But later on, if you want, you can grab a picture of it. Let's see if it wakes up. Did it turn off? I reckon it turned off. No, it is on. Wake up. There we go. Success. Okay, so here are some I prepared earlier, right? Now, have a look. Fun little fact, by the way, I asked you to do like four or five vertices, because if you do well, one vertex, vertex is a bit boring, right? But if you do two or three, it turns out to be very difficult to make a network that doesn't work. They all seem to work. Okay, I'll let you try and explore that later. But then have a look at these guys. Do you see them? Right? Um, that one right there is the one that I drew here, okay? So what's going on? What makes these graphs a problem? It's vertices that have an odd degree. When you have vert vertices which have an odd degree like this guy here, right, or this one, as soon as you've got more than two, you cactus, right? You can have two. Two's fine, have a look at this guy, right? Do you see this one? Can you go all the way around, like one, two, three, four, five? All the edges are covered, yeah? So two odd vertices are okay. But as soon as you've got more, you're in trouble, okay? Now, interesting, can you actually just draw this one here for me? Draw this one, it's just like this one we did here, um, and it does work, but it's got one edge less. And hopefully this will bring all of the, um, all the threads together for us. So, just draw your four vertices first. Missing one. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, in this diagram, and I wonder if you can get your um, vertices labels to match mine as well, right? A, B, C, and D are, sep are different to each other, right? What's the degree of A? Three. What's the degree of B? Two. And then it goes again around the, uh, 
around the diagram, right? Now what's interesting here is, I want you to start off from, we've just established that this works, right? You can totally solve this one, right? But I want you now, just put your pencil or pen, put it on B, and then try to, try to complete. Go all the way through all the bridges. Just give it a go, try it right now, okay? Start on B and see if you can go all the way around. What are you, um, what are you finding? If you start from B, it just explodes in your face, right? You're like, but I already know it works. How come it can't work if I start from B? And the answer has to do with these degrees, right? The reason why it's okay to have, it's okay to have two, right? So long as you start from the A or the C. So long as you start and you end on something with an odd degree, you'll be all right. Start on A and it goes, doo, 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 you're fine, right? But if you start on one of these guys, then you run out of edges rapidly. You, you sort of paint yourself into a corner, okay? So can we maybe summarize this in, if, we, if you haven't already written this, this is probably the way that I would sort of encapsulate, like what's the piece of theory that we've learned, right? If you have a network and it has any more than two of these odd vertices, then you already know immediately you can't cross every bridge without repeating one, right? So you're gonna have to backtrack, or alternatively, you're gonna to have to add extra things. Like if you're the garbage collector or the postal service, right? You're gonna to have to add some extra edges or vertices so you can cover everything and not double back and waste time.